There was a day when a volunteer came up to me. Uh, she works with some of the low-income kids uh, around her community and she said that there was this kid she met um, that was in primary six, uh, wasn't doing very well, confirmed will fail PSLE kind of thing. His brothers were in uh, Boys Town, his parents were in jail, but he got a laptop from us. And with YouTube, he taught himself how to code. So he coded his own game and he was showing her that game and he was very proud of it and he was like, yeah, I could do this. Personally, to me, we've given out what, three, almost five and a half thousand laptops, right? If, that, if all we did was get this one kid to code, I'm quite happy. I'm Johan Anwar. I am the Executive Director for Engineering Good. So Engineering Good started in 2014. Um, we are a charity that work primarily with persons with disabilities to uh, empower and enable uh, inclusivity in their lives. So when COVID struck, uh, my main COVID-related project was to watch as much Netflix as possible. Um, unfortunately, uh, another friend of mine called up and said that a friend of mine has looks after needy families, they need 24 laptops because all these kids are going to do home-based learning. Uh, so we thought, okay, well, for 24 laptops, I get some donations, buy a lot of pizza, one weekend we can hunt them all out, and then the next two months, finish the rest of Netflix. Um, so that was in April 2020. Uh, we started with 24 laptops. And now we are at November 21. We have given out 5,381 laptops um, from the original 24. Um, obviously, I haven't been watching enough Netflix. I live in a country where, fortunately or unfortunately, digital inclusion is a consideration in the social sector. I think that every a uh, school-going child in Singapore should have a laptop. I think digital access, especially internet access, should be a right in Singapore. You should just have it. I think my motivation comes from a very illogical need to try and leave the world a better place than I found it. And of course, the drive also comes from uh, actually the family that we have in the office and the volunteers that come in to help. I think. In these hard times, we lean on each other, and that's more than I can ask for. The thing about volunteering is that it allows a person to give more than just themselves, uh, to affect more than just themselves in this uh, community that they live in. And uh, at a certain point in everybody's life, there will be, or I hope there will be, a point where you want to give back. And that's what volunteering affords you. It affords you to a path um, where you can affect the people that need to be impacted. And to be honest, a lot of people volunteer quietly. Um, a lot of people help their neighbours. That's volunteering. You know, I, I, I've just heard of uh, my friends who regularly bring their kids down to the car park and then pick up trash. You don't have to do anything big. You just have to do something that is not for you. That's all. Uh, I always wanted to watch. Bre I haven't watched Breaking Bad yet. It's insane, right? I, I cannot commit. I'm like, shit. What six seasons? Seven seasons? I know if I press start, I will never stop, right? So I'm very, very scared. But I know I need to watch that. Uh, I need to watch Breaking Bad. Uh, um, but yeah, there's lots, there's lots to watch. But we got time, bro. <laughs>